nimesikia kwamba tuko na uh, magari ambayo they are operating as PSV illegally. Yeah, na iko sehemu zote za Kenya. Either mtu ako na Probox, ako na hiyo Voxi ama ako na Sienda na haija registiwa. So the first thing, they don't pay any licensing fee because it is free. You know, it is it is it's illegal like they are operating illegally. Number two, they are operating at a higher speed because they are not regulated in terms of their speed. Number three, they are not inspected, so they don't pay an inspection fee. I want to give first a warning to every person who is operating as a PSV illegally that you need to stop forthwith. Usimame na ukome mara moja. Ya pili, I want to direct the NTSA starting tomorrow morning to make sure that a public crackdown is done to weed out any private vehicles that are operating as PSV. Na nataka ni waombe wa Kenya. Kama wewe unalipishwa kupanda gari, lazima uangalie kwanza kama hiyo gari ime andikwa kama ni PSV. Kwa sababu tukiwapata njiani NTSA itasimamisha hiyo gari wata itakuwa arrested tukifanya kazi na polisi na nyinyi mtasukishwa hapo mtembee kwa mguu. So as a passenger you also have your individual personal responsibility upande gari ambayo ni matatu kama ni matatu. Lakini sio gari ambayo na pia tumeona kwa some of those probox watu wamejazwa mpaka wanawekwa nyuma kama kunia ya viasi. Yeah? Gari ambaye hata kwa kawaida ingebeba watu nne inabeba watu mbili. Eh wengine hata wanabeba na ine na ni gari ndogo. We, we have said that uh, I have directed NTSA working with our police officer that there must be a crackdown starting tomorrow morning to weed out all these people. If you want to operate a matatu, ingia kwa asako, nunua matatu officially, fanya hiyo kazi kama matatu. We don't want unfair competition in our country. So that directive, George, is effective, effective now, enforced tomorrow morning.